Hi guys, I am Elle and you're watching Just Iron Nick. As you may have seen by the title of this video, I'll be dyeing three old white shirts with tea. I'll be using this... <laughs> I'll be using this old green tea that I bought a couple years ago. It's cost a dollar in the dollar store, so you don't have to have any like expensive teas to do this project. It has 100 tea bags and it's a dollar, so I'll go to your Dollar Tree or to your local supermarket that will probably have some cheap options. And basically, I'm going to be using about 10 tea bags per shirt, and I'll show you each shirt and why I decided to dye them and what I hope to create out of them after it goes through this dyeing process. And of course, so I'll run you through what I'll do to each shirt so you can have an idea of how you can do it for yourself. So the first shirt I actually want to dye is my little brother's shirt that I did not want to throw away or give to any thrift store donation center because I thought it would be a good shirt to fully immerse into the tea dye. I don't want to do like any tie dye effect because I feel like it'll come out weird and I really just want like a plain brown pattern on it. I'm probably going to make this into face masks as well. I'm going to cut it up after I dye it and I can probably make about five to six face masks with it. I'm not quite sure how many I can do but I think with the sleeves and with like the basic overall size of it I can probably do about five or six but I'll see and it's a really good cotton so I know the face masks are gonna like last me for a long time so the second shirt that I have is actually a shirt that I've owned since like eighth grade and when they would teach us not to smoke in school and I didn't realize I had it until I looked in my closet and I'm like this shirt is literally like 10 years old and I didn't even realize it was in my closet and basically it's like you shouldn't smoke and here's all the facts about how you're gonna die so I'm definitely not gonna wear this shirt anytime soon but I thought it could use the sleeves as face masks as well. So I'm gonna see how I can rescue this shirt because I would hate for it to end up in the landfill. So the third shirt that I have and the final shirt I'll be tie dyeing with a tee is this really old shirt that I got passed down by my mom. It's like super yellow and the neckline is super raggedy. I'm not gonna wear it anytime soon and it's been in my closet for like two years just sitting there taking up space. So I'm probably just gonna do like a tie dyeing pattern for this and play around with that and I'll make sure to keep this one really immersed just so that the color comes out really strong instead of like a light brown.
So after all of that, I finally have the shirts. So I'm super excited to see how they look. This is the first one, the little kid shirt that I did not do any tie-dye pattern to. I just dipped it into like the solid water and it kind of looks tie-dye to be honest. The only bad thing, it has some darker spots. I accidentally left two tea bags in the pot. So always make sure you grab all the tea bags out of the water because it can create those stains. But yeah, I'm super excited to make these into face masks. It did not affect the quality of the cotton, nor does it smell weird. Kind of sad it doesn't fit me because I would have loved to use this as a regular shirt, but I'll make the best of it. And like I said, I'll do the face masks. For the second shirt, it's my normal tie-dyed shirt. It didn't really come out looking tie-dyed, which is a sad thing. I think it just has a little minor details at the back of it that looks like it was tie-dyed. I think it was just based on how I put the rubber band. So if you want really tie-dyed look, I will highly recommend you putting rubber bands all around it, having it really squeeze in itself because I kept mine kind of like loose. Always make sure for that. And I am looking forward and fixing the neckline and upcycling it. So I may do that for a future video. Overall, I love it. It's like this just beige brown pink sort of color which I like I said really really love then finally I have my eighth grade don't smoke <laughs> shirt so I want to wear this it's just I don't know how to get the glitter off so I'm gonna investigate that or I can do some sort of like painting on top of it so there's a lot of ideas but I love how I can no longer see the yellow stains and it just like looks cool so yes, I love, love, love how this turned out. Overall, I just feel super grateful in learning about tea dye. It's super affordable, it's super easy, and with little minimal effort, you can revamp and upcycle shirts with little effort. So yeah, this has been my three tea dyed shirts. Hopefully you like this video. I actually have a blog around sustainable fashion. If you want to read that, that'll be in my description. Lastly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make videos every Sunday, so make sure to put the notification bell on so you can stay tuned and be the first person to watch and to comment. Stay safe guys and peace and love. Bye.